Here I have an application with a long list of products, and I would like to add some pagination here. Now whenever you need to add pagination, there are two gems you should consider, Will Paginate or Kaminari. And at the end of this episode, I will give you some tips on deciding between these two gems, but here, let's focus on Will Paginate. Now Will Paginate is a rather old gem, and it originally had some issues while upgrading to Rails 3. But now with the new 3.0 release of Will Paginate, it works great with Rails 3 and 3.1, so let's give it a try. The first step is to add Will Paginate to your gem file, and let's make sure it's greater than version 3.0 so it works with Rails 3. And then run the bundle command to install it. And then we can add pagination to our products controller index action here. Now in previous versions of Will Paginate, you would call the paginate method here on our product model. But in this case, since we're working with Will Paginate 3, even though this old method is still supported, I much prefer the new method of page. And then you just pass in the page uh, parameter into here. And then inside of our index template, we can add pagination with a call to Will Paginate, and then pass in our collection, which is products, just like that. And then if we hit reload on our products list here, you can see that we have instant pagination, and it works fully but the list is still pretty long because it defaults to 30 items per page, and I would like to uh, shorten that. So back inside of our controller, we can add a per page call onto here to specify how many items we want to display. I'll just say five for now so we can see the effect. So let's reload our page here, and voila, that works. Now we only display five per page. Now let's look into customizing the way this pagination looks because the default isn't very pretty. Well, you can do a lot with CSS, and the documentation gives you some nice examples of different pagination styles. So let's choose something like this dig pagination here. So inside of my style sheet SCSS file here, I'll just paste in some code to make it pretty. And you can see that uh, it's all nested under the pagination uh, class, and this is because uh, Will Paginate uses that class by default as the div it wraps everything in. And we'll try reloading the page here and it looks much nicer. Now there's a lot more you can do with CSS that you might not initially consider using it for, such as hiding the previous link if it's disabled, or the next link if it's on the last page here. To do this, we can just change our disabled class here to say display is none. That will hide it. And then reload here, and notice the link's no longer visible on the first or last pages. Awesome. Now if you need further customization, there are various options you can pass to the will paginate method, such as options for changing the label. So we can say our previous label, let's say we want it to be a less than sign, and our next label, we want it to be a greater than sign. And one little gotcha here is that these won't be escaped by HTML by default. So we'll need to add the h method call into here just to make them uh, HTML safe. So now when we reload our page, you can see our previous and next now are just the arrows. To get more information on the various options you can pass into here, check out the R docs. Uh, there's a lot of options you can pass to really customize exactly how the pagination works. And there's even a renderer option here, which you can use an entire class to handle any of the logic you want for the pagination. Sometimes though, it can be easier to code pagination directly into the view instead of using a method like we'll paginate here. So for example, let's say we want to just add some simple previous and next links with some information in between it. So we could just create a link here for the previous page, and then we want to change the page parameter to go to the previous page. So one way to do that is just call params.merge, and then pass in the page parameter here, and then we just want to go to the previous page. And uh, Will Paginate provides a method on our collection here, our products collection, to help out with this, just called previous page, and that'll just return that previous page value. Now, if there is no previous page, then we can just add a simple if statement because it's going to return nil for that call if there is no previous page. And we could do the same for our next link here. Let's see if there is a next page. And if there is, then we want to display our next page link here. And then finally, we can add some information here saying page products.current page of products.total pages. And these are all methods that Will Paginate provides so we can access them directly here to do some custom pagination. So here's our page with our old pagination. Let's try reloading it. 
And there's our new pagination. Uh, we could style it to make it prettier, but the point is that it's all custom made without the use of a will paginate method, but it works fine just the way we want it. The links hide appropriately, works great. So as you can see, will paginate is a great little gem to handle your pagination needs. And I didn't cover everything here, so I encourage you to check out the readme here and the wiki for more documentation. But how does will paginate compare with Kaminari? Now I covered Kaminari back in episode 254, and functionally these two gems are very similar. They both provide great pagination. Uh, the differences start to appear when you get into customizing how the pagination looks. And like I show in that episode, Kaminari uses several partials to handle the rendering of the pagination, and you'll need to override the various partials to uh, customize the behavior. Whereas Will Paginate handles customization more through Ruby options, so it's a matter of which technique you prefer. One thing to note though, is that rendering many partials does have an effect on performance, so Kaminari is a bit slower than Will Paginate, but probably not significant enough for most applications to notice this. Probably a more significant factor is that some Ruby gems depend on one pagination library over another. For example, Active Admin here depends on Kaminari. So if you're using Will Paginate, you will have problems because the gems don't play nicely with one another. So a good idea to check through the gems that you plan to use and go with a pagination library which matches one of those. Other than those cases, you really can't go wrong with either library because they're both great. So that wraps up this revised episode on Will Paginate. I hope you enjoyed it.